If we fire a projectile upward, it would go up to a maximum height and then fall back down. And the faster the initial speed, the higher the projectile would go before falling back down. And if we fire a projectile with enough speed, it can actually go up to infinite height, keep going up and up and never come back. The minimum initial speed we have to provide an object in order for it to never come back is called escape speed. When an object is given the escape speed, the object would basically go to a maximum height of infinity. Now consider a planet with mass m and radius r. Find the escape speed for an object on the surface of that planet. Ignore air resistance. It is basically a maximum height problem, so we can use conservation of energy. Because we ignore air resistance, that means that the total mechanical energy is the same at the beginning and the end. At the beginning, the object is on the surface of the planet, and it has a speed that is the escape speed. So it has 1 half mv squared. On the surface of the planet, it has a gravitational potential energy that is the negative g m m over r. The r would be the big R, the radius of the planet. And then at the maximum height, at the maximum height, the speed will be zero, so the kinetic energy is zero. At the maximum height, because it's at infinity, and what is the potential energy at infinity? If that is the equation we use for gravitational potential energy, when R approaches to infinity, the potential energy would be zero. So the total mechanical energy is zero. And then we can solve for the escape speed. So we have 1 half mv squared. And then I can move this one over. I get g m m over r. So I can cancel the little m and that and I can multiply by 2 on both sides. And then take the square root. So that's the escape speed. If this planet is the Earth, we would get 11,200 meters per second escape speed. Notice that the little m canceled. So the escape speed does not depend on the mass of the object. It only depends on the mass of the planet and the distance to the center of the planet. Because lighter gas molecules such as hydrogen and helium have higher average speed at a given temperature, most of the hydrogen and helium gas has a chance to escape the Earth. The moon has an even smaller escape speed, so it does not retain an atmosphere at all. While Jupiter has a higher escape speed, so there is plenty of hydrogen gas in its atmosphere. For an extremely massive, collapsed star with very large m and very small r, it is possible for the escape speed to be so high that it is more than the speed of light c 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. This means that even light cannot escape. Therefore, it appears black, and that is why we call it a black hole.